Welcome back to Biker GoPro. The weather here in Northeast Ohio is finally starting to break a little bit. It's pretty chilly today, but at least it's sunny and it's not too bad wind-wise. Thought I'd give you a little update on my Rad Rover. Haven't gotten to ride it a whole lot, but I have rode it some. Uh, the only thing I've really added to it right now, as you can see, is uh, a mirror. I got this mirror off of uh, Amazon. I think it was around $25. And uh, I like the way it looks. I like the way it, I can see behind me. Everything worked out good. Today I think I'll cover how I carry my Red Rover on the Mustang and on the Jeep Liberty. Now this is the Thule T2 bike rack. This is how I carry my two-wheel bikes. Um, I'm a big fan of this rack. I've had it for quite a few years on different vehicles. Carried them a lot. It uh, You just lift the vehicle up into the, the wheel tray, lock the back. This comes up over the That comes up over your front wheel and it holds it down. That way there's nothing touching the bike and nothing touching the car. And I've been a big fan of this. But to haul my Rad Rover, I can't use it because of the four inch fat tires. Now they do make a fat tire adapter kit. It's a wider bracket for the back and with a longer strap to go around and plus the wheel tray in the front is wider so that you can carry it. But the only problem with that is this um, okay, come right there. the only problem with that is the uh, part that goes over the front wheel it will fit this but I want to put fenders on my Rad Rover and to do that I wouldn't be able to hook the bike down using that plus the big problem is on the Mustang it's not too bad because it's not that high off of the ground on the Jeep Liberty it's uh, another eight inches higher than it is here that means I would have to lift the front wheel into the tray, lift the back wheel into the back rack, and lift it all by hand. Not too much of a problem when you start out, but after a 25 mile ride, I don't know if I feel like lifting it all the time. So I'll show you what I came up with. Okay, now the one thing I did forget to mention on the Thule bike rack is the adapters run about fifty to sixty dollars and of course their Thule is a good bike rack but what I came up with is the motorcycle rack to carry small, small motorcycles um, on the back of your car this came from Home Depot uh, they're about $129. New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, everything at Home Depot was like 30% off. I think with tax and everything, it came to about $90. So it was only slightly more than uh, buying the adapters. Plus, of course, it comes with a ramp. There's no lifting the bike. Now, I did change it a little bit. Uh, of course, you can see on the motorcycle, it's quite low. What I plan on doing is uh, I got a new tube, and I'm going to add a about a six and a half to seven, maybe eight inch uh, step so that the entire rack will be higher on the Mustang. I won't have to worry about it. But with the rack, I can still load it onto my wife's Jeep Liberty with no problem, and it's a, 
it's about nine inch the receiver is about nine inches higher than the receiver on here now I did make a few modifications uh, this bar here I put on the bottom it was on the top like the other ones and I lowered it I put a couple nuts right in here as spacers to even drop it a little bit lower this tread here I moved back this tread here I moved forward all the other treads worked out real good so let me uh, let me show you how nice this works okay on the uh, on the rack you hold it down with the tie down straps I didn't want to scratch up the handlebars with the hooks so the first thing I do is attach some straps to the handlebars. Okay, now that I have my straps attached to where I need them on here, I can go ahead and load my bike. Okay, now the bike's attached, good. Um, there's also two straps that'll be coming down from the back, down to the same point. And I do have already have the, cut, the straps cut to uh, wrap over the rear rack so it doesn't get scratched up also. The excess strap hanging down, I'm gonna shorten these straps. These straps will be dedicated for hauling the Rad Rover only so I can shorten them to the length I need. I'll put red straps on the front and the green or blue ones on the back and that way I'll know exactly which straps to grab. I think I may also put a small strap over the wheel, attach it to each side of the, uh, the back wheel the front wheel actually has a, uh, you can see that knob there, it actually has two clamps that come together on the front wheel. I don't know if they're really necessary, but the extra, little extra precaution and a uh, little extra time it takes to hook them up doesn't hurt. Of course, the ramp comes off and stores on the rack, I'll show you that. So whenever I get to where I'm going, I can just take the ramp off and lower it. Um, even on the Jeep Liberty, which like I say is, is taller than the Mustang, of course, if I have to, I can always turn the motor on and put it in walk mode and the bike will walk right up. This ramp also fits on both the back and the front, so you don't even have to back it off. You could just roll it off to your left if you wanted to. Okay, that's my bike rack for hauling my Rad Rover. 
and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any comments or any ideas or any helpful hints you can give me. Leave a message down below. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.